मोस्ट रिवर्ड गुरुओं के गुरु कुल गुरु चेयरमैन ऑफ द वर्ल्ड मोनी फाउंडेशन डॉक्टर कृति सिंह अनदर गुरु बिकॉज आई हैव सीन ही बीइंग कॉल्ड एज ए गुरु आई पी पीटर चेयरमैन ऑफ हेल्थ इंडिया लेबोरेटरी डॉक्टर के वी पीटर ही हैज ऑल्सो बीन द कुल गुरु ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर यूनिवर्सिटी हिंदी इट इज इट लुक्स वाइस चांसलर डस्ट लुक्स सो नाइस एज कुल गुरु लुक्स बिकॉज द ट्रेडिशन माई बिलोवेड डॉक्टर रचनम हु हैज बिन इन इंडिया एंड अब्रॉड टेकिंग द मैसेज ऑफ द कोकोनट फॉर द हेल्थ एंड प्रॉस्पेरिटी ऑफ द पीपल there are many cool gurus senior level professors sitting in the audience dr rakhor i see he was also the cool guru and scientist also see dr pradhan cool guru and also a well known scientist the promoter of organic farm dr patak i see around i see dr bmc reddy and many more colleagues young enthusiastic money promoters from across the country ladies and gentlemen i am really charmed and fascinated to be here to address you about the money which i had known only few months back as a horticulturist of course there are large number of plants I knew the money in the city folia is there, but I never knew that what money exactly is. Dr. Kriti Singh requested me to be in this conference. I agreed, but I was just thinking what to tell. Then another meeting we had. Then I met Dr. Peter, Professor Peter, in Delhi. I. for some question and he was kind enough to give some of the answer my journey about the money has started from there that i started myself looking across the globe what is happening in money i also asked with my scientist who is working at carry and then finally before coming to this conference i thought i must see the what they are doing and so on the last 7th of the october i visited their farm so this is my knowledge this is my travel about the non now i must compliment health india laboratory who is committed for the well-being of the people their motto their goal is the good healthy human being in the country and abroad good mankind so the peace if your good health is there there will be peace when i have talked about water there in that conference of the agriculture asked to say the problems of the water who solves he should get two nobel prize one because water is the science another because he brings the peace so he must get two one for science and technology another for the peace similarly i say here here they should get two nobel prize one for bringing the healthy people it means the peace and bringing the science of that plant for the curing of the disease that is the another the science and technology so definitely that the people deserves to know the prize i'm really fascinated to see his motos the five e's and the first is the ethics in matter of fact in all the business even everywhere we are forgetting our ethics social values but i find it is the first and foremost similarly environment which we are talking about around the environment is the challenge and his laboratory talks about environment explore 
education, excellence and education. Education, gyan, knowledge, power. Even Gita Krishna said, gyan is the power, knowledge is the power. And the knowledge, who has the knowledge, he is the God. But who disseminates the knowledge, he is the Guru and he is worshipped by even the God. That is Guru and that Peter is Guru here. If it 
describes its pulse. But it was the Newton who invented why it is falling. Many people have been swimming in the water. Everybody has been floating, but it was Archimedes who invented, who discovered that is a displacement of water equivalent to the weight, and that becomes the science, and that becomes practice. Many people have seen that when you put the garden peas, they will be pink, they will be white in the different proportion. But it was the Mendel who identified that they segregate in the particular ratios and the Mendel loss was made. And that loss, through that we are achieving the excellence in the development of the cultivars. So here the scientist was there who invented the genonese there, but here is the Peter who has put into the practice. But we all young people over here, the task is before us to have the adept study of its pathway. Some presentation was there where it was said that yes, it affects on the DNA, but how it affects? Maybe that it may be affecting on the messenger RNA. All messaging is stopped and so that you get the benefit. But the question also becomes, what may happen to the human being DNA if it is only affecting the DNA of the virus? That is another. So the co-kinetics of this, not only alone, but along with other medicines also requires to be the studied. And if you do so, our answer, because many times, few days back, I was also sitting with the doctor, so he was with me. Excellent discussions we had. If the science is put together, then definitely we can answer the question which we posed by the scientist. Otherwise, it is based on our experiences. I know that large number of the people who have taken money, they have felt it very good. But now science has to be incorporated to give to the answer to the people. And definitely it is going to stay. I am also convinced that it has got the catalyzing effect on the sum of the system, maybe the hormonal system of human being to prevent. Maybe the antigen system is uh, integrated so that we get some kind of protections. But the science is required to be studied there to know much about knowing. So this is as far as the utilization part is concerned. But once you utilize the forest, money will be not enough. We have to grow on the land. When you grow on the land, it has to be profitable to the farmer. He must get the good income from the crop, then only he is going to grow. And there we require a different kinds of study with respect to agriculture and horticulture. And it starts with that development of a variety. First, because money we have known, Morinda citrifolia we have known, but when it is taken through the seeds, large number of variability is there. And variability is not only to the fruit shape, size, and the tree shape, but variability will definitely be there with respect to the content for which you are looking for. So you may have to also look not only to the tree size and others, but what is our actual ingredient we are looking for, which has got the medicinal properties, genonine or other minerals, that also has to be taken into the account while evaluating our germ plan. That is one aspect, the variability studies. Biodiversity, of course, you have the several species. Even you have the pubescence, you have the chimera, and so on. I was told that about 100, um, about 80 species are there in this, of which citrofolia is good. First, let us exploit the variability existing in the citrofolia itself. Maybe it is possible that you may get the better one, and which can be perpetuated through the system of propagation. The vegetative method of propagation, cuttings, I had seen that one of paper presented that uh, cutting should not be promoted because it may have the, uh, not the tap root system. But same thing may happen if you are going through the tissue culture because that also will not have the tap root system. But tap root system is not always the limitations when you are going for the cultivations. Only in the tap root system, if it is there, they may have the better anchoring of the plants. But there are large number of plants which are also with the fibrous root system, secondary root system. So we have to look around, the, explore the various possibilities. Of course, tissue culture is the one of the way through which we can go for the large scale multiplication. Suppose we locate one plant which is a high elder, if you want to have through the normal method of propagation, it may take very long time. But if tissue culture, which has been standardized, I could see the paper of Mr. Subramaniam, he has standardized, and even I could see the tissue culture produced plants in the farm last time. It means that we have the knowledge, we have the technologies, only thing is that we have to identify appropriate good variety for large number of multiplications. 
Then biodiversity definitely it requires to be the studies as far as our different uh, estates are concerned because few days back I was in Tishnapalli, I was shown as one of the species, Dr. Ratnam had shown me and that I could see that it was going very well even at the pH level of 8.5. It means even if that is not very good as a fruit, because fruits were very small, but that could prove to be a very good root stocks. So that way also we have to explore our biodiversity. As far as the propagation is concerned, already we have marks ahead. Tissue culture also has been standardized, but we have to look for the better root stocks also, because root stock could be one of the very good solution to have the effective plant system, plant architecture. Another point, it comes because it is uh, like a perennial crops, what I have seen in the farm. And the plant architecture management is very, very important. When I was looking to the plants, I could see that it has, the pruning system has to be different here, like on other pruning what we do normally. Because if you see the fruits will be there, the branches will be increasing ahead. And then at end, the, there will be the fruits. It means we must have to encourage more number of vegetative bud. So what we have to do is we must have to bring the cane and then also the vegetative bud. And co the coffee where we follow the system, similar system, that may also have to be followed. And, but you may have to experiment much more. As far as nutrition is concerned, no doubt we must only be organic. Why? Because so that imbalance is being created, large number of micronutrients are becoming deficient. So here, from beginning itself, I would say the organic farming should be promoted. May not be the certified organic, but it should be promoted as organic farming. Then the question becomes how to get the so much quantity of organic manure. Here the farm waste utilization. And also, with the farm, we must have the animal and utilize through the vermic compost, use the biofertilizer, bio use the, some of the now, we are exploring large number of microorganisms, use the microorganisms. So that system has to be adopted. As far as water is concerned, microirrigation will be the better solution because largely it will go in the dry areas where you have the less of the water. We could see the large number of insect pests are attacking this. So we must have to develop an integrated system of management. So without much use of the chemicals, we are in position to manage it. The next step comes this post-harvest management, harvesting indices. So those things has to be developed, then only we will come to the some kind of improvement. So this in general, because this has been already recommended, has been given, but how to work together? I find large number of the young people I find the institution, private, public partnership is already existing over here. Our CARI Institute is working. I observe that here already you have given end-to-end -end approach what we used to talk in the case of mission. Mission approach is end-to-end -end approach where starting from the seed up to the consumer. So here you are taking up to the consumer, farmers may be growing, so we have all the aspects covered together. Why don't we call it uh, noni mission? for the prosperity and health of the people. And you gave the term of so prosperity for the farmers and health. So if you can think in those terms, where the different system works, research is there, technology adoption is there, then post-harvest management is there, the marketing is there, everything is covered, and someone picks up what, who will do what. And that way if you work, definitely we can move fast. And as the, many of the benefits as we explained, so the sky is the limit for the marketing of this. Even in India you have the 110 crores of the population. Even we are not meeting the demand of even 0.05%. So even if you want to supply to 110 crores of people, mean how much area you have to grow. So definitely you require to work faster and I appreciate that in mission mode we go. As far as the government support is concerned, the, uh, Dr. Ratnam has uh, rightly mentioned, I'll write to the mission director because it is an horticultural plant, so there should not be any objection to including it as, because all the medicinal plants are included, I will call it a fruits or medicinal plant. Once we say that it is a fruits or medicinal plant, this will come. The, whatever the supports are available, that will come. As far as medicinal plant is concerned, from there also we can get the support. There is no problem. I myself is there and already I told to my officers that let us make a project in the network mode of project. We should include all the aspects, including the diversity, exploitation, production technology management, and that can be, again, proper type, three piece could be there, 
public, private, so farmer will be there, here is the entrepreneur, and there is the scientist. So in three modes you can make it, and then we can see that we will be much faster. Because any network mode of project, they are much faster, they give the SPD results, and that success story in many of the crops we have made in India. So here also we can look to that, so that one in the mission mode, another is that we can have the partnership mode, where the government, wherever the funds can come from the government, I think uh, you are highly comparable to any of the best uh, promoter. So there I don't have to make any comments. With these few words, I wish all the best for the money. This should serve the people of the country, not only the country, 